Hello and welcome back. This is a very, very quick video. Well, hopefully it is. I'm going to clean up this old turntable. It's not very exciting, so you just see a bit of sanding and a bit of spraying, and then you'll see the finished job. You might see it disassembled. Yeah, there's a start in there. Expecting to find that under the. Anyway, this needs a good sanding. I'll get on with it. I'm going to take all the good bins out of there as well. Inspect them and clean them up. Right, let's get on with it. I'll tell you one thing, sanding's really boring. There must be some way of speeding it up. <laughs> Better. It's not doing me camera much good though, all this dust. <clears throat> that came off easy. It just held on with a little circlet and washer. And blow me, there's a magnetic parts tray I got from the car boot sale coming in very handy. If you notice, that's got a little felt ring around it. I think that's to hold oil. Good little feature. What's that? Have you taken that off? It's in good nick. It's uh, phosphated that. It's in good nick. And you can see the oil sign there. And if you put some oil in there, it'd run to all three pinions. So that's a nice little touch. And that's where I've got to get off the another one of them. Here's the heart of the beastie. A nice bushless mortar. It's in good nick. In fact, the rubber's still in good nick. Just years and years old. These things run forever. It's got a strange box on the end of it. I wasn't quite sure what it was, but in a bit of investigation, and it is cracked. I think, I think I've got a spare one of them. It's in better nick. It's a voltage selector. If you've got the wire across the two pins there, it's for 240. But if you transfer one pin that way and one pin that way, leaving a gap in the middle, it'll run on 110 volts. So that's nifty. Right. This central pinion. Got to be careful here. Yeah? Because it's got a ball vase in it, but they're loose. So I don't want to lose them. <laughs> so I'm going to turn the camera off now. We're messing around with that. Don't look at that. I'm multitasking. I'm making two videos at the same time. Time saving. Right. The little mortar that's been cleaned and regreased, and I've also cleaned all the gears. Very shiny. You had to get all the grease out of each tooth individually with a cloth. So they turned out well. Also, the lid, that's turned out well. I sprayed the outer rim in Colchester Green, obviously. What else would it be? And the other night, when I was lying in bed, she was lying to me. I was lying to her. Oh, that's a terrible old joke. I was, <laughs> I was pondering. I thought, well, Chris, if you get some new felt, are you going to finish the edge off? It's going to look a bit frayed, especially the way you cut things with scissors. It's only until I took the old felt off, they realised there was a groove. And that's where the felt goes into to finish it off. So, there you go. And what was that? I've got some self adhesive felt. I just simply marked around 10mm extra. That's going to be good to go. But I'm going to do that off camera. Good chances are I'm going to balls it up. But luckily, I've got a bit. More, I've got another piece left. Got a 
just enough for another one, just in case. And if there's any left, I can always make somebody a Christmas card. I'm doing, I'm doing a bit of crafting! I know! Anyway, next time you see it, I think they'll be all together. I'm very close to finishing off the restored turntable. I just thought I'd show you the old second hand spur one that I found under the floor is that one, just as a comparison. Everything's bone dry, very grubby. This is now running absolutely lovely. Things left to do, rub your feet on the bottom, put the lid on. Luckily, I was able to salvage the rubber feet off the other turntable, and I also was able to retain the original label, which I'm very happy with indeed. Made in England. Now, as ever, I finished, but I seem to have a few bits left over. <laughs> That's the way of these things. <laughs> I was also able to retrim in green felt the turntable top. It turned out quite well. It was quite hard to do, to stuff it in with a little screwdriver. But there you go, it's done. That's that. There she goes. I just need to put something on. Oh, yes, seal it bang. This is the next video. So there you go, that's one restored X Jewelers shop display turntable that I found under a floor. I think it turned out rather well. Thanks for viewing and come again. Duh!